This is kind of like the standard design for Cat 40 tool tags minus these magnet holes. If you remove that, they just have a solid legs like this on the side. And what I discovered is with these solid legs is that it's pretty tough to put these on and off and it takes a good bit of force um, more than necessary. Since the diameter of this accounts for differences in the inner diameter of this groove, that inner diameter is not consistent across tool holders. It varies a little bit. So I didn't like how hard it was to put these on and off. So I modified the design with openings inside to make like a parallel linkage where you see the top and the bottom flex and that allows it to flex open some as you're pushing it on without breaking. So this tag's much easier to put on and off and still just as secure when they're attached. This is a very short tool holder, so unless you're holding it by the cone, it's a little bit hard to grab. But with these flexible arms on this Cat 40 tool tag, it makes it easy to put the tag on and off. The tag fits a standard three inch wide by one inch tall label on which you can write whatever you want. You can also print these labels out with lines and details for information already on the label. So another feature of these tool tags are the magnets. And the magnets are nice for two reasons. You can attach a magnet to a tool without actually clipping it on there and it stays with the tool. And also when you're using this tool holder in the machine, you take the tool tag off and then you just stick the tool tag on the side of the machine with the magnets. And then when you're done with this tool, you can just take it off the machine and clip it back onto the tool. So these magnets are five millimeter diameter by three millimeters tall. I bought them on Amazon. These are not the strongest neodymium magnets ever, but they're good enough for these tool tags and they're super inexpensive. So the holes in these tool tags were designed at 5.5 millimeters in diameter with three indentations at five millimeters such that these magnets can be pressed in. Now the easiest way I like to press these magnets in is to use a, one, a tool tag that already has them in and use that to align the direction of the magnets. And then I put the other tool tag on top and press the magnets in some and then take a pair of parallel jaw pliers like these Nipex and press the magnets in the rest of the way. I haven't even needed to use any glue. You could add a little bit of super glue or something in there. But the way I designed these, they press in perfectly. And then I take two more magnets and put them on the other side and just let the magnets that are already in there line them up and then use the parallel jaw pliers again to press these magnets in from the other side. Boom, there we go. We've got a nice tool tag with magnets in it. So it can stick to any steel surface. Or you can clip the tool tag onto the Cat 40 tool itself.